When we explore the solar system, we find more than 290 fascinating moons orbiting various celestial bodies. Most of these moons orbit the gas giant planets Jupiter and Saturn. However, when it comes to our planet Earth, we have just one moon. But is this big, bright grey neighbour of ours truly the only natural satellite orbiting us? Since the 19th century, there have been several intriguing announcements by astronomers claiming to have discovered additional moons of Earth. For instance, the French astronomer Frédéric Petit announced in 1846 that he had observed a second moon. However, his discovery was soon dismissed by his peers, largely due to his claim that it orbited at a distance of only 11.4 kilometers from Earth, roughly the altitude at which commercial airliners fly. Similarly, in 1898, German scientist Dr. Georg Volu claimed to have located not only a second moon, but also a system of tiny moons orbiting Earth. However, his discovery could not be confirmed and was widely considered to be false. Even Clyde Tombaugh, the discoverer of Pluto, studied the possibility of a second moon, but ultimately released a report in 1959, stating that he found nothing during his search. Based on these previous attempts, it seems Earth indeed only has one moon. However, the question remains, could there be more? Because there is a far more intriguing answer that suggests our planet has had many moon-like objects over the years, and it currently has far more than you might think. According to the giant impact hypothesis, when Earth first formed around 4.5 billion years ago, it had no moons. However, this changed when a Mars-sized protoplanet, nicknamed Theia, collided with the young Earth, blasting large chunks of debris into space. This orbiting material eventually coalesced and formed the magnificent moon we see today. Some astronomers speculate that there may have been a companion moon very early on in Earth's history. An impact with this other moon could help explain why the moon's near side is low and flat, dominated by volcanic scars, while the far side is mountainous and deeply cratered. However, other processes could also account for these observations. Yes, the idea of another moon remains hypothetical for now. While the moon we know is Earth's only permanent natural satellite, there have been intriguing discoveries of other objects in orbit around Earth. In 1991, for instance, a small object called 1991 VG was spotted, initially thought to be a piece of NASA's Apollo hardware. Further examination revealed it was of natural origin. Although it was only about 10 meters in diameter, it became known as a sort of second moon of Earth, being gravitationally bound to Earth for a short period, making it a mini moon. However, it orbited Earth for only a few months, making it a temporary satellite. This discovery raised questions about the possibility of other temporary moons existing around Earth. So, while the search for additional moons continues, these findings suggest there could indeed be temporary moons awaiting discovery. The earliest known mention of a temporary moon occurred in 1913 during the Great Meteor Procession, an unexplained parade of meteors that lit up the night sky over Canada, the northeastern United States, and down to Brazil. While the origin of this event remains a mystery, many astronomers theorized that it could have been a short-lived natural satellite of Earth a temporary second moon that partially burnt up in Earth's atmosphere. These momentary moons are typically small objects captured by Earth's gravitational field, eventually leaving orbit or colliding with Earth. However, temporary mini-moons aren't the only things orbiting Earth. In 1961, reports announced the existence of so-called ghost moons or Kordelinsky clouds, dust clouds too faint to see with the naked eye, but orbiting Earth on the same path as the Moon. For nearly 60 years, ghost moons remained controversial until 2018, when their existence was confirmed. These clouds are enormous, nearly nine times wider than Earth, 
and are composed of individual particles estimated to measure just a micrometer across. Sunlight reflecting off these particles causes them to glow faintly. Indeed, ghost moons are fascinating yet extremely difficult to detect due to their tenuous nature. While they orbit Earth, they hardly qualify as moons in the traditional sense. On the other hand, there are numerous space rocks, known as quasi-satellites or quasi-moons, that appear to orbit Earth, but are more influenced by the Sun's gravity. These objects do not follow Earth's orbit precisely, but take approximately 365 days to orbit the Sun, similar to our planet, giving the appearance of being in orbit around Earth, despite mostly being outside of its gravitational influence. Additionally, Earth has Trojans, which do not necessarily orbit Earth directly, but instead travel along the same path, either just in front or just behind Earth, at locations called Lagrange points. These points in our solar system represent gravitational equilibriums where the gravitational pull between two celestial bodies, along with their orbital motion, creates stable regions in space. Objects placed or naturally found at these points tend to remain there with minimal energy expenditure because the gravitational forces are balanced. NASA has effectively utilized these Lagrange points, notably with the James Webb Space Telescope, which orbits the Sun at Earth's L4 Lagrange point. This positioning allows the telescope to remain in line with Earth as it orbits the Sun, requiring minimal fuel for orbit maintenance. Only two Earth Trojans have been discovered, both located at L4, with sizes of around 400 meters and one kilometer across. While they are relatively small, these Trojans could hold significance for future exploration and resource utilization efforts. They might serve as ideal locations for establishing bases for advanced solar system exploration or as potential sources of resources. These Trojans could be attractive targets for fast, low-budget robotic space probes, making them logical sites for early experiments in asteroid mining. Although Earth is known to have only one permanent natural satellite, the Moon, many mini-moons exist, coming and going over time. These mini-moons may one day also bear the footprints of astronauts, reflecting humanity's ongoing exploration of space.